Hey everyone, and welcome back to Hoffman Engineering. Onshape recently released an exciting new feature, and I cannot wait to show you guys. But first, if you haven't heard of Onshape before, Onshape is a cloud-based CAD program that is free to use, and I am absolutely in love with it. It has been my go-to CAD program for the last six or so months. So if you haven't heard about it and want to check it out, click the link in the video description or right above and check out my video on it. That'll give you a nice primer so you can follow what I'm about to show here. But today, today is all about Onshape's new feature called Feature Scripts. So Feature Script is a scripting language which allows users to create their own features. Now, you know what features are. You use them every day in Onshape. Things like extrude, you have your fillets and your chamfers. All of those are features. And feature script is what the Onshape devs use to make these kind of features. And now, us as users have the power to create our own fully parametric features, just like the ones that are already in Onshape. So if you need some custom features, this is a perfect way to create them yourself and save you a lot of time. And like many things in Onshape, you don't have to create them yourselves. Any user can create a public feature script feature and make it available to anyone. So you would be able to import those features and use them yourself. So that's what I'm about to do now. Now, first I was hesitant and skeptical about what features I could possibly be missing, but let me show you some examples really quick. If you notice up here in the toolbar, we have this new button for add features. And we can click on that and we can see public features. We can see features that I've created myself in other documents, or you can see some of their example scripts. So I'm going to use some of those right now. Uh, first one, spur gears. That's a feature that is common in many CAD programs that's been missing from Onshape. But now someone's gone and created a custom feature for gears. So if I select that and I select the spur gear, we can see that it's been added to our toolbar and it's located right up here. So I can close down that prompt. I can now click this spur gear. And now I'll be able to create gears wherever I want. So one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click select origin position. And I'm going to select this sketch as the vertex. And that will allow me to create that new feature. And so you can see that we have the same kind of prompt, the same parameters that you're used to with all of the other features. Uh, they're fully changeable. I can say that I want, you know, 10 teeth. I can change any of these settings and it acts just like it's a cut or it acts like it's a normal built in feature. And this is just made in feature scripts. So gears are pretty cool, but what else can you do? Well, let's say I have this part down here, this sort of linkage. If I wanted to make this out of metal, this could be really, really heavy. So normally what you would do if you want to lighten a metal piece, you would cut a bunch of holes in the center. And that can be really time consuming to do. Uh, say I wanted to cut four kind of slots in here. That could take some time to set it up, create the offsets, create the sketches, make sure everything has a nice filleted edge. Or you can use someone's custom feature for this. So if I again go up to add custom features, and I'm going to again use the uh, sample feature here. If I go to lighten, this will add the lighten feature up top. Now we can use that by clicking and creating a new sketch. And I'm just going to quickly view normal to sketch plane. And let's say that I want to cut a few, uh, you know, triangular features in here. What I can do now is just grab this, quickly sketch some lines where I want these features to kind of go. And if you imagine the time it would take to set up uh, holes in the center of all of these triangular sections uh, to be drilled out later, that could take a lot of time to do the offsets, fill at each edge, and make sure everything can be easily changed with variables. But now, if I accept this sketch, I can go up to lighten, say I want to lighten these regions. Uh, part two is selected as the part to cut. The thickness of each of the, the lines will be two millimeters and the tool radius would be one millimeter. And there we go. We have a lighten feature created in feature scripts. And you can see already just how much time this could save if you're trying to do something complex or you just need a feature to be used over and over and over again. 
this could save a lot of time to create a feature in feature scripts rather than do it all manually using the tools that are already available. So let me show you one last little thing. So before I go and show you exactly how these scripts were made, let me show you one last one. As you know, Onshape has great tutorials, and they have a great tutorial about the feature script as well. One of the features that you create in the feature script tutorial is slot cutting. So say that you're doing laser cuts and you want to put two pieces together, usually you have to cut a slot in one so you can slide the two pieces together. And even though slots are relatively simple, they're usually just, you know, a rectangle cut through, it could still take a lot of time to set up if you need to do multiple slots. Uh, so you can see over here that I have made a custom uh, feature myself in this document, and it shows up here. So we have a slot feature. So let me show you how I can use that. I can again create a new sketch, and I'm just going to draw some lines. And this line, these lines are going to dictate where the slots are going to be cut. So you can see right now I'm just doing arbitrary lines but of course you would want to take your time and dimension everything if you're actually doing a design. But now I have some slots or some lines that I want to use that as a template to make slots from. So I can go over here, I can select slots, I can select these paths as the uh, paths for the slots. I want to cut this part and I want them to be five millimeters wide. And you can see perfect slots already made using a native feature and all of these features will be rebuilt whenever you make a change they act just like normal features do in Onshape. so if you change something above it'll all flow down the chain uh, everything will get updated just as you it expects so now that you've seen the power of feature scripts how do you actually go creating your own custom features well if you notice down here we have a new tab a feature studio tab and you can create one yourself by clicking on the plus button going up to create feature studio and what this will do is it will create a new tab and give you a fully uh, integrated development environment it has its own built-in IDE directly into Onshape and it acts just as another Onshape document so if you create versions it'll be saved um, it's saved on the cloud so you don't have to worry about uh, losing your work everything like that acts normal and it's a scripting language where you can define your, uh, when you create these features, you will define your preconditions, which are all of the parameters that pop up and uh, allow you to adjust widths and select uh, parts, do all that kind of stuff. And then down below that, you have the actual feature script portion. And you can see that these are just calling other functions. And the functions, they have full documentation to show you exactly what it's expecting, exactly how it works. Now this video is not going to be a tutorial on how to write using feature scripts. I just wanted to show you that this is now a new feature in Onshape that I'm really excited for. So be sure to subscribe because I will have a feature script tutorial coming a little bit down the line to show you exactly how to create your own features. But for right now, I just wanted to show you that this is how it would work you would define your own uh, parameters, and then you can use those parameters uh, to do extrudes, to do thickens, you can delete portions, do Boolean. Everything that Onshape could already do is written in this feature script. So it's you have as much power as any of the developers over at Onshape to create your own custom features. Speaking of Onshape developers, they have released all of the source code for the features that already exist in the Onshape for anyone to use, to look at, to copy and paste from, and use them as a base for your own features. And you can find that if you jump back to Onshape. There is this, uh, they have this standard documents. So if we open up this Onshape documents, you can also find it linked in their help pages. Uh, we can see that they have, if I click over here, um, they have all of the feature scripts for the features that already exist. So if I wanted to see exactly how the extrude feature works, I can just jump into the extrude tab and see the code that that extrude feature does right in Onshape. And if I wanted to make a tweak, I can select some of this, I can copy it myself, paste it into my own feature document, tweak it just the way I need, 
ends, I have a fully customizable feature. And all of the features that already exist are in this document. So if you wanted to see or learn a little bit more, get a feel for the language, check out the STD document from Onshape. It's also in their help pages. Uh, and all of these functions have wonderful, wonderful documentation, as does pretty much everything in Onshape. They're, they're really good about that. So I hope you're as excited about FeatureScript as I am. When I saw this announcement, I could not wait to jump in and start playing around with it and creating my own features. It is truly a very powerful tool that they just released for free and made their own features open source. And it makes it so easy for the community to create awesome things and share it with anyone else. So thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, please like the video and be sure to subscribe for some more awesome stuff coming on the way. I'll see you guys next time. Now first, if you haven't heard of Onshape, imagine if you took SolidWorks and you took Google Docs and they had a baby. Well, we'll get into that. Thank you for watching Hoffman Engineering.